Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. I am Urania and on this channel we focus on femininity and on self-development. Today's video will be all about gratitude. We will look at what gratitude is, what the benefits are, and I'm going to share with you plenty of different ways that you can practice gratitude yourself. Ladies, it's time for us to start with today's video. The definition of gratitude is the feeling or the quality of being grateful. Being grateful means that you are aware of your blessings and that you acknowledge and appreciate all the things that you have in your life, from the big things to the small things. Being grateful will shift your thoughts from what is lacking or not ideal in your life to what is present and what is good in your life right now. A lot of the time, we tend to take for granted all the things that are already good in our lives. And we dwell on what we don't have, what we don't like, or what's going wrong. Practicing gratitude is essential if you want to live a happy and a fulfilled life. Without gratitude in your life, you keep looking at the things that you don't have and the things that are lacking. And that will make being happy very difficult. Studies have shown that being grateful can increase your happiness level up to 25%. But practicing gratitude has more benefits, such as it improves relationships and social interactions, it lowers depression levels and improves physical health, it enhances empathy and it reduces aggression, and it improves your self-esteem. Up next, we have my list where I share with you different ways that you can start practicing gratitude yourself. Number one, start and end your day with gratitude. You can easily do this with a quick prayer, by sending someone a appreciation text, or by reminding yourself about the things that went right in your day. Number two, a gratitude journal. In your gratitude journal, you will write the things down that you are grateful for. And you decide for yourself how often you write in your journal. I would suggest the more, the better. I also have a gratitude journal and this is mine. <laughs> and every single morning I will write in three things that I'm grateful for. And in the evening I will write down the things that went well in my day. My journal is Dutch, so I'll make sure to find similar ones and I will put them in the description box below. Number three, take time to appreciate nature. One of the easiest way to practice gratitude is to appreciate nature. You can go outside and feel the sun on your skin, take a walk in nature and smell the fresh air. Number four, celebrate birthdays and anniversaries. By acknowledging birthdays and anniversaries of yourself, family members, your partner or other acquaintances, you're actually practicing gratitude. A phone call, a card or an email can make someone else feel appreciated. Number five, when you are facing a difficult situation, look at what the lessons are that you can take from the situation instead of just focusing on the stress. Number six, Create a gratitude collage with pictures of things and people and places that you are grateful for in your life. Number seven, write a review online for a company that recently gave you a great experience. Number eight, volunteering. You could, for example, volunteer in an elderly home. And that's a great way to show appreciation to the elderly people that live there but also for the people that work in the elderly home. Volunteering is just a great way to show gratitude and to help another person. Number nine, by praying and going to church. Number 10, by challenging yourself to not complain for a period of time. This could be a day or three days or for an entire week. Number 11, by posting something that you are grateful for on social media. Don't forget to use the hashtag grateful. 
Number 12, by refraining yourself from gossiping or speaking negatively about other people. Number 13, by paying attention on how you are seeing the world. For example, is there traffic on your way to work? And are you blaming the drivers in front of you? Are you allowing your circumstances to dictate your mood? Or are you able to breathe and get yourself in a state of calmness and gratitude? Instead of being angry, you can be grateful and say, I am grateful for having a job. I am grateful for having a car. Be mindful of how you are thinking and how you are feeling when situations like that occur. Number 14. Whenever you see your reflection in the mirror, say something that you are grateful for about yourself. Number 15. Write thank you notes. This could be a thank you note or a letter that you sent out to the person, or you can decide to keep it yourself. Number 16. Meditate and especially meditate on the things that you are grateful for. Number 17, reflect on the things that you are grateful for and the people that you are grateful for related to your work. Number 18, to be more grateful. Donate to a good cause. Number 19, set a reminder in your phone that is going to make you pause and think about something that you are grateful for in that exact moment. Number 20, take a moment to be grateful for all the people that made it possible for you to eat the food that you have on your plate. Before you pick your food up in the supermarket, a lot of people have put a lot of time and effort for you to be able to get that food. Let's be grateful for them. Number 21, whenever you feel a negative thought popping up in your mind, push it out with a positive thought. Number 22, keep a simple gratitude list in the notes section of your phone. Whenever you feel that you need a boost of positivity, just go through your list since you have your phone with you all the time. Number 23, see beauty in other people and compliment them. This can be people that you know, but definitely also strangers people you just meet on the street. Give other people kind and respectful compliments. This is going to make the other person feel good, but you will feel good about that as well. Number 24, accept every single day as a gift. It sounds a little bit deep, but no one knows when their last day is coming. So for that reason, we need to appreciate, accept, and be grateful for every single day that we have. Every single day is a new opportunity to do something kind for another person, to improve yourself, or to make a positive impact in the world. Number 25, make positive affirmations. By saying affirmations, you are reprogramming yourself and you are changing your inner dialogue. Some examples of gratitude affirmations are, I am thankful and grateful for my safe and secure home. I gratefully receive the lessons that each experience brings me. I am grateful for the constant flow of money through my life. I realize how fortunate I am that so many people love me. And that was my list. I would love to hear from you. What are the ways that you are practicing gratitude? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some new inspiration on how you can practice gratitude. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.